Problem four, cost of capital. Calculate the weighted average cost of capital given the debt to equity ratio. So cookie dough manufacturing has a target debt equity ratio of 0 0.6. Its cost of equity is 15% and its cost of debt is 7%. What is the firm's weighted average cost of capital given a tax rate of 25%? Now this problem, basically we need to just calculate the weight of equity and the weight of debt. We have it, uh, we can calculate it through the debt equity ratio here. And then we just plug that, those values into WAC. So if debt to equity is 0 0.6, then we can cross multiply, take this equity, put it over on this side. That means debt is equal to 0 0.6 times equity. So for example, if equity is 10, debt is 6, if equity is 100, debt is 60, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't matter exactly what or how high debt is or equity is. We know that debt is 60% of equity. So we can calculate the the weight of debt and the weight of equity. Now remember the weight of debt plus the weight of equity has to equal one. So the weight of equity is then the amount of equity divided by the total, which is the weight of amount of debt plus equity. And the weight of debt is the debt divided by the debt plus equity. Now, if we know that debt is 0 0.6 equity, we can substitute it in here. So equity over 0.6 equity plus equity is 1 over 1.6, whatever the amount of equity is. So that equals 0 0.625. And then therefore, debt is going to be the, um, the rest, which is 0.6e over 0.6e plus e, so 0 0.6 over 1.6, or 0 0.375. Of course, these two add up to 1 again. Now, with those two numbers, we can calculate WAC the regular way. So we have the weights, we have the rates, and we have the tax rate of 25%. That gives us a WAC of 11.344%. That's it, and thank you for watching.